Welcome to this week's episode of the Pullist Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at the top three choices of comic books from New Comic Book Day that I am looking forward to reading. This week's New Comic Book Day is going to be June 8th, 2022. To be honest, the pull list this week actually has many books that I'm looking forward to reading. Check out my full pull list in the description of the video below. And I think every single comic on the list this week is something I'm actually looking forward to reading, but I was able to narrow it down to my top three. So let's take a look at what those are. Starting off with number three this week is going to be Metal Society issue number two. This is from Image Comics uh, Top Cow label and is a great sci-fi comic. I read issue number one and really enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to this issue number two. This is written by Zach Kaplan, who is known to be a sci-fi writer, and I first stumbled onto him when I was reading Join the Future from Aftershock Comics, and I have to say that he has a really unique style to sci-fi that I like, and uh, with Metal Society, the story is kind of a inverse of your normal uh, robots take over the future story. In this case, robots did take over in the future, but for some reason, they chose to bring back people. So it, it's kind of an interesting take on it, and I'm looking forward to see how they end up resolving the storyline. But uh, it's also a mix of MMA fighting, which I'm really not an MMA fan, but they're actually pitting the humans against the robots in some type of fight and that's what this issue two seems to be leading up to is that fight that's going to happen so i'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen it's an interesting take on sci-fi if you're a sci-fi fan you may want to check out metal society my number two this week is going to be the lion and the eagle issue number four i Honestly, I'm not a huge store, uh, fan of war stories. This is uh, what appears to be a World War I, World War II type story. If you are a fan of that genre, I think you would really enjoy this book because I'm not a fan and I enjoyed it. I picked it up because uh, it's written by Garth Ennis and he uh, did the Peacekeeper one shot that was a few months ago and around the same time this was released and i was interested in picking it up and i'll say this too it's that special magazine format that i feel like you actually get more bang for the buck when you get this nice uh, glossy page square bound thing and i'm actually going to talk about that with my number one choice as well but uh, I really liked the fact that it was also from Aftershock Comics, so this is the second independent comic on my list this week. And uh, it's not for the faint of heart. Uh, Garth Ennis is known for doing some kind of gory uh, writing and art in his books, and this is uh, one of those that would conform to that. <laughs> but it's an interesting look into what I believe is based on a true story. And this final issue, issue number four, is going to resolve uh, the story that's been running over the last three issues. So I'm actually really looking forward to see how the story is going to end. Coming in at number one this week is Aquaman Andromeda, issue number one. By DC Comics it's a black label and it's written by Rom V so really this has a lot going for it uh, I looked at some of the art the art looks amazing too uh, but Rom V has been a favorite author of mine as I've read through his Swamp Thing series recently and also uh, Radio Apocalypse is another story that uh, piqued my interest I read the first couple issues that have been released and he is uh, a very unique writer, has a very different style, and I really have enjoyed his style before, so I'm hoping it translates into this. This seems to be kind of an Elseworld story mixed with sci-fi. Uh, from what I understand, the plot that has been explained so far <clears throat> is that a alien spacecraft has landed. Black Manta, the villain who always uh, is pitted against Aquaman shows up to kind of salvage from that alien spaceship. We'll see how it pans out once the story uh, is presented this week in issue number one, but uh, that's the synopsis that's been given. So it's kind of a unique take on Aquaman. I'm not a huge Aquaman fan. I will say I have mentioned before I'm a Zack Snyder fan and 
the Aquaman movie that came out uh, from Zack Snyder choosing Jason Momoa to lead as Aquaman uh, turned out to be a great movie. A uh, little bit of trivia if you don't know this, it's actually the second highest grossing Warner Brothers movie ever, only second to the final Harry Potter movie. Uh, but that movie uh, was really awesome. I liked that. But Normally, I just don't get into reading Aquaman. I've read some of the Aquaman series. I think he's better as a supporting character in like the Justice League uh, when I'm reading that. Uh, but in this case, as the lead in this uh, comic series that's coming up, I am really looking forward to it. And the final thing I'm gonna say is, is that this Black Label edition appears to be a, yet again this special magazine format. I believe DC Comics puts a cover price of $6.99 on these comics. So w w the way I'm looking at it is, is when you look at some of the printing that's happened on comics lately, especially on the Marvel side of the house, uh, the printing's been awful. The paper quality is awful. Black Label Special Editions are printed very well. They're square bound, full magazine format, glossy pages, and you're paying $6.99. In this case, Andromeda is going to be a three issue series. So seven times three, that's $21. I'm guessing that if I were to pick this up and trade, it would cost about the same. And uh, if you look at other story arcs from like Marvel and DC, where they usually do about a five run story arc with a $3.99 cover price, you're talking uh, a $20 charge for five issues there that's not printed normally not printed very well so i have to say that i really like the print quality on these black label magazine formats uh, both line and the eagle my pick for number two and this will be in this format and even though they're harder to store and sometimes harder to find bags and boards for them uh, they're still a really nice format to pick up and read and look through so uh, that's just a added bonus uh, on top of this great author Ron V who's going to be writing this and what sounds like uh, a very intriguing Aquaman story so that's why this one is my number one for this week Thanks again for watching this week's episode of the Pull List Examiner. I hope you enjoyed my top three picks and maybe you'll go check them out as I recommend them. And if you have anything you want to recommend to me, please leave a comment. Recommend a comic series or title that you're interested in. I am getting even closer to my uh, 100 mark goal of uh, subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Once I hit that mark of 100, I'm planning on having a comic giveaway. And uh, I just want to say thanks for watching and remember to read them, bag them, and board them. And we'll see you next time on the Pull List Examiner.